Hello guys. You can see that there is a plastic tool and plastic dice. So today I am going to show you how to make the design of this plastic die in SolidWorks mold tool. So let's begin. At first just go to file and open a new file and select part and select on OK. Now from here select top plane and click on sketch. Now select center rectangle and from the center draw a center rectangle. Okay. Now go to smart dimensions and now put the length 350 millimeter and the width 250 millimeter. Okay. Now select fillet and put the parameter 30 millimeter. Now select all the corners ok now go to features and click on extruded boss or base now make this one 200 millimeter now change the direction make it downward and switch on draft mode and make it 2 degree and make draft outward ok now select fillet and make the parameter 30 millimeter and select the top edge and ok Now click on front plane, click on sketch, now click on space bar from the keyboard and click on normal tool. Now select line and here draw line. Now select center line and from the center draw a center line at the center of, the, of this line and another center line that will touch the center of the bottom line. Press on enter, right button click, select. Now select the upper center line and make it vertical ok now select the bottom center line also make it vertical ok now select both of the lines just select the first one and press on control from the keyboard and select the bottom one now click on collinear ok now go to smart dimensions and the distance from the upper portion to the upper line will be 75 millimeter. The length of the upper line will be 220 millimeter. The length of the bottom line will be 240 millimeter. Okay. Just yes, rotate a little bit. Now go to features and click on extruded cut. Now from here select show all both. Okay. Now this portion is cut. Now select right plane. Click on sketch 
and click on space bar from the keyboard and then normal to now again select line and draw lines now draw center line and from the center draw center line to the center of this line and another line to the center of this line select now select the upper one and make it vertical okay and select the down, uh, lower one also make it vertical okay now select the upper one press and control from the keyboard and select the lower one and make them collinear okay now go to smart dimensions and the distance from the upper surface to the upper line will be 75 same as the previous one enter and this length will be 130 millimeter for the lower one 150 millimeter okay now go to features and click on extruded cut and from here select so all both okay now just sorted this one now select shell and the shell param parameter will be just 5 millimeter and now select this one select all the side all the portions one by one select all the portions okay now all the portions of this side is selected now click on okay okay now just magnify select this edge and click on sketch now click on space bar from the normal tool okay actually uh, press bar from the keyboard and select the normal tool now select line and from the center through the origin a line okay select now another line a vertical line okay select another one select now again select line and make horizontal line from this portion to this one okay again select line and from this portion to this one okay now go to smart dimensions now the distance from this line to the midline will be just 70 millimeter okay now distance from this line to this line will be 140 millimeter now distance from this line to this center line will be 30 millimeter now distance from upper line to lower line will be 60 millimeter so the distance will be same in both cases okay now 
go to features and select rib and the rib thickness will be only 4 mm select 4 ok now the switch on draft and it will be draft outward and make it 2 mm ok ok now go to fillet after selecting the fillet the fillet parameter will be 30 mm now just select these edges Select these edges. Okay. Okay. Now our plastic tool is complete. Now we need to make the plastic die. Okay. Now for this one, <coughs> we need to move to mold tools. So click on mold tools. And if the mold tool is absent here, just click on right button and just switch on the mold tool. Just click and mold tool, mold tool will come here. <coughs> and at first click on draft analysis. And just click here okay and it is showing different lines different colors that is positive draft required draft and negative draft and check the colors for this one okay now switch of draft analysis now go to parting lines and select the upper portion and click on draft analysis now all the portions are selected here ok now check the changes now click on parting surfaces and the surfaces will come two surfaces will come from the two sides and go just downward and make it 125 millimeter. Okay. So you can be, see there's the parting surfaces. Now click on tooling split and just click on this upper surface okay now click on spacebar and select normal tool now click the center rectangle again for the last time and from the origin draw a center rectangle okay now put a smart dimensions and the distance from this line to the center will be 200 millimeter okay so if you check this one it will be 400 so we need to monitor this one and again from the center to this line it should be 250 millimeter okay now just exit now check this one the upper and lower portions are selected so if you want you can just increase and decrease the portions also for the lower one you can increase or decrease the portions okay 
now our dice is complete and we need to isolate the dice so that you can understand it. So if I, I isolate this upper part and lower part it will be clear to you and for this one just uh, click right button on parting line and hide this one and also right button on parting surface and hide the parting surface. Okay. Now just from here go to insert and from insert to features and in the feature you will get move and copy and make sure it is unselected the copy part and just click on upper portion and just drag it out upper direction okay now again just go to insert and then features and then select move or copy and same thing unselect the copy part and make this make sure all these things are things present and just click here and bring it downward okay now you can see this portions so our die is complete and I hope you have learned how to make plastic die and if you think that you have learned something from this video please share with your friends don't forget to subscribe and press on the like button thank you